All right, everyone, I'm here at my local range today for a couple reasons. First one is going to be to test out the Magneto Speed V3 chronograph on my barrel. This is the first time I've got it out at the range. We'll see how it goes. And then also, I wanted to do a small experiment today. Um, last few times I've gone and shot my rifle, I haven't been getting the consistency that I feel like I should be getting. So with the Magneto Speed mounted up as part of the test with it, I've also got loaded up 15 rounds with Federal Gold Medal Match small rifle primers and some CCI 450 small rifle magnum primers so because of the availability that was really all i could get it's not an exhaustive test by any means but i wanted to at least do a small comparison and see if i could notice any difference in the consistency between the two so with that target set up at 100 yards magneto speed and chronographs all set up and ready to go and i've got the rounds loaded so let's get on the gun um, i'm not going to be shooting for accuracy i don't know how the magneto speed is actually going to affect the accuracy where it does clamp directly to the barrel so with that i'm not going to be focusing on accuracy as much we'll see how it does but i'm really focused on the consistency of the velocities i'm getting from my load because then i can go and tune it from there so let's start with that get behind the gun and start shooting All right, so the first few shots out of the first five, I did have the first couple. Uh, didn't quite read on the sensor. I didn't have it aligned and set up right, I guess. But I got it all dialed in now. And here is what we have got so far. So you see it picked up those three shots. Uh, you know, out of a three shot standard deviation of 5.6. Looks like my average is coming in right about 2970 feet per second, right kind of where I thought it should be. So we'll continue to go now that it's running. Um, and see what we end up with. All right, so 15 of the CCI 450 Magnum small rifles are done. Here is the results we got. So it looks like an average of 2964, standard deviation of 8.6. So actually, overall, not too bad. So the one thing I am interested to see is if that the Magnum primers are going to get a little bit more muzzle velocity than the non-Magnum primers, um, purely because the ignition pressure is higher in the Magnum primers so we'll see if that makes a difference or not overall let's go take a look at the group though real fast the group actually ended up being pretty consistent i was surprised with the magneto speed hanging off the end i didn't know how that would go but just looking through the scope looks like the group actually held together pretty well all right so now that there is a 15 shot groups now if anything it looks like i'm running maybe a tenth of a mil low but overall that grouping is pretty consistent and i'm also not set up the best those benches are a little bit wobbly don't lead to a super stable position so they are bouncing a little bit when i shoot so it could be a little bit of that but overall that's actually not too bad so now this round here was the very first round of the day all right so now we saw that first shot out of the gun ran a little bit high uh maybe a touch left so now a lot of people will say that there's no such thing as a cold bore shot just a cold shooter I've shot enough guns to know that that's not exactly always the case. So as far as what actually causes it, it might be the barrel warming up getting more consistent with consecutive shots, but it could also be some stuff that just kind of sits and settles in your bore between outings. I'm not exactly sure what it is. If I did and I knew how to control it, it would make my life a whole lot easier. But I am here to tell you that it is a phenomenon that you will see. Some guns do it more than others. Some guns don't. There's not really any good reason I have as to why, but it is something that I have seen enough and I've shot with enough people that have seen it enough that it it is a thing. All right, now we're going to move on to the Federal Gold Medal match. Um, we'll see how they perform, but honestly, those CCIs, I was very impressed with that. So 2964 average, um, standard deviation of 8.6. So, I mean, anything under 10 is kind of what you're looking for. Lower the better, obviously, but... 8.6 is not a bad range to be at at all. All right, so now as an added bonus today, I did bring out the Apex Optics 
Summit Pro 12 by 50 binoculars. Now I just got these yesterday um, and I wanted to just bring them out to the range to try them out and check the clarity. We'll have a more full video on those um, at a better range when we can reach out a little bit further. But let's just take a look and see what it looks like through the glass down at the target that we have set up and just kind of get an initial view of them. All right, so I just finished up the uh, federal gold medal match. Here's what we ended up with. So it looks like we've got an average of 29.52, max 29.74, min 29.40. So we're in about 10 feet per second slower than those CCI Magnums. These ones do have a standard deviation of 10. So slightly less than the CCI Magnums, but overall um, still, still not terrible. Not exactly where I'd like it to be, but the problem is, is I did my load development with the Magnum primers, so there could be some case uh, density fill things that would be finished out, uh, make that more consistent with actually developing to that primer itself. So still, even though it wasn't developed for it, it was still not a bad range, but it did show up as an average of about 10 feet per second slower than the Magnums. All right, so now here are the groups for the Federal Primer. So I did these first 10 shots down here. Um, wasn't loving the group on these compared to the CCIs. So I did finish out the last five shots up here just to take my time, make sure I had some good holds and try to do a five shot group up here. You can see though, still open up. Interestingly enough, it is almost the exact same pattern. So there's almost this little string right here, a little pocket and same thing, kind of that line. It's just off to the left side and then a little bit of a group right underneath the bullseye. So, must not be hitting a very consistent node right there. That could definitely be taken care of by tuning. See, it's still about a tenth low, so same as the CCIs. So, POI shift isn't isn't really too much different, but that's kind of interesting. Got a little pocket right there, and then a little vertical string just off to the left side, and it shows up right here in that five shot group as well. All right, so now overall out here, it was kind of interesting. So the standard deviations were fairly close, about a little over eight for the CCIs, um, 10 for the Federals. Um, definitely saw some better groups out of the CCIs and a little bit more consistency as, long, as well as 10 feet per second faster. So I did load these all in the same setting. Didn't change anything on the seating die, the sizing die, ran them all in the same powder thrower. Um, ran everything at the exact same charge weight. So I tried to make this as consistent as absolutely possible, and this is the results we ended up with. So now with this, though, I mean, they were fairly consistent. I have no doubt that I could clean up that group with the Federals, which is a little bit more load development, maybe more consistent with uh, tweaking the charge weight and the case fill density and things like that. But overall, the Magnums did bump up a little bit, and at least for what I'm doing right now, they have shot more consistently in the setup I'm using right now. So I will stick with those. Like I said, this is not an exhaustive test just because you cannot find components anywhere. I would like to get more components and more variety. Try this again in the future and see kind of if we can replicate some of these results and dial down primer consistency.